What is night sight? Now, this is Google's low light mode option for their Pixel phones. Though it's just been officially rolled out today, we've been talking about it for a while because some devs over at XDA managed to activate it even before it officially rolled out. So Pixel users have been using it uh, and a port of that app has also been made available for other popular phones like the Poco F1, the OnePlus 6, 60 and so on. But that said, now that it's official, let's see how it holds up compared to the iPhone XS Max's pictures under low light. So to start with, this is the XS Max. Nice, nice, good, good picture, right? It's not a bad low light shot at all. It's quite clean and all that. But then again, this is the Pixel 3 XL with night sight. It's amazing, isn't it? Just to give you a fresher perspective, side by side. Again, iPhone XS Max, Pixel 3 XL, that fence was almost invisible on the image shot with the XS Max. Just to give you an idea, here's a side by side. Now before we jump to the next part, here's one more example. It's almost like somebody turned on a light switch, right? Now when the lighting gets a little better, the difference isn't as stark, but it is still there. Now if we were to get a little technical, well, Apple is happy settling for one quarter of a second shutter speed, whereas Google likes to push it a little bit more. Half a second is as long as Google would go. So depending on OIS and their software magic to clean things up, this is why Google kind of edges ahead on this front. But then having a longer shutter speed also comes with some negatives, right? At least that's what I thought. I kind of expected uh, with regards to moving subjects, uh, I expected the Pixel 3 XL to kind of perform worse than the iPhone XS Max. And yes, the XS Max does perform a little better here, but it's not a huge difference. It's very minuscule. Here are a few more examples. Now, if you think these were good, just wait for the selfies. iPhone XS Max. Pixel 3 XL with night sight. Yes, it's available for selfies as well. Here's a side by side. Let's do it one more time. iPhone XS Max. Pixel 3 XL. Here's that amazing side by side. The Pixel absolutely destroys the XS Max here. It was better than the XS Max with regards to the rear camera, but with a selfie camera, it just blows the competition away. And even with the secondary sensor, the one that uses a wide angle lens with a narrower aperture, there's more noise, but the image is a lot more usable. And once again, here's another example. Now the iPhone XS Max does an excellent job under low light, but the Pixel 3 XL feels like it's a class apart. Night side feels like it's a magic. Now, right from the first Pixel, you know, HDR Plus on the Pixel 1, Pixel 2 came with that portrait mode via a single camera for both the selfie and the rear cameras. And now, Night Sight on the Pixel 3 series. Uh, it seems like Google's just leading the way with regards to cameras. Yes, there's competition from Apple. Yes, there's competition from Samsung. Now, even Huawei stepped up their game in a big, big way but Google just seems to be doing so much better. It's not just their stellar hardware, but it's innovation like this in terms of software that keeps them right up on the front. And I feel the Pixel 3 XL, night sight on the Pixel 3 XL is just amazing. It's very innovative. And it's not just on this, right? When with the ported camera apps, we see the amount of uh, difference it makes even for other phones, phones that it's not built for. And it's just that good overall.